So um, I've put together this little tutorial for anyone who's having problems with Adobe Character Animator, specifically with regard to tracking of pupils on a character. One thing I encountered recently on a job was that um, I was using a character that I designed within Adobe Character Animator and I couldn't get one of the pupils to move properly. Only one seemed to be tracking, the other one was locked, which obviously wasn't what was required, what was want wanted. And it was a very annoying problem. So I eventually fixed it, uh, which is why I'm doing this little tutorial. So I've got Illustrator open here, and I've got two different simple heads with eyes, which are basically set up as per the requirements for Adobe Character Animator. So the right pupil here is, has got a plus next to it, which means that it's a free moving element and the right eye or the eyeball, which is this bit, um, is fixed. So it doesn't have a plus next to it. And I've got two heads. So I've got this one, which I called good eyes and this one, which I've called bad eyes. And you can see the difference, it's pretty obvious. In the good eyes, the default position, the pupils in the artwork are centered within the eye. And in the bad eyes, the pupils are slightly offset or completely overlapping the eyeball shape. And although my illustration wasn't as bad as this, um, I've just done an exaggerated version of it just to um, give you an idea of what works and what doesn't work. Okay. So um, we're now in Adobe Character Animator and um, I've got the, the two heads as separate scenes. So this is the good eyes and you can see that the pupils are moving quite freely within the eyes. That too many problems. And this is without um, tweaking any of the settings. So basically I literally loaded the um, Illustrator file into Adobe Character Animator and then set up a scene and did a rest pose, set the rest pose and it pretty much did everything else. And this really depends on the naming conventions that you've set up. If you've done everything correctly and added plus signs in front of elements that are free moving, then everything should work fine. So let's go to the bad eyes. So you can see what, immediately what the problem is here. You've got a little bit of movement on one of the eyes, but it's quite limited compared to the eye where the pupil was completely enclosed within the eyeball. And um, I think that's a pretty good illustration of the issue that uh, you may encounter when you're setting up your characters. Sometimes when you're designing characters for aesthetic reasons, you don't really want the, uh, the pupils to be dead center or for the character to be staring straight ahead. But um, so long as you stick to these basic rules when you're setting up your layers in Illustrator or Photoshop, then you shouldn't really have any problems. Okay.